The King and Queen visit farm volunteers at agricultural camps in the home counties. A day with the holidays on the land workers, people who are helping the nation grow food and putting in a vacation at the same time. Another of those delightfully intimate tours when their majesties put everyone at ease by their disregard for formalities. Practically attired women pause in their work as the King and Queen start to talk with them. Here are some really happy studies from one of these camps. Tea time sees the King and Queen having a meal with hungry volunteer farm workers. Solid crockery and trestle tables adding to and not detracting from the holiday mood. The Duke of Norfolk, who accompanied the royal visitors, would be among the first to tell you that more than one city worker has fallen for the delights of the country life. Post-war agriculture will have many converts to farming. The following day, the King and Queen were at anti-aircraft gun sites in the south of England, where the battle of the flying bomb is being fought. It was during this visit that the battery went into action against some doodlebugs. In spite of days and nights of almost continuous action, the rate of firing was terrific. Not until the last of the robots had passed did the King and Queen leave. A few hours later they heard of where a bomb had fallen and at once drove to the incident. They walked amid the wrecked houses and shops talking to men and women who had been blasted from their homes. No account had been taken for this in the royal visit, but the King and Queen made it their concern to go among their people in distress.